Hey guys, what's going on? Burden here, and today I'm doing my review of Halloween. Halloween! 3. S season of the Witch. So Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is, um, is a film about a doctor who uh, basically uncovers an evil plot of an evil, evil organization that is selling kids' masks. But they're evil. Yeah, um, this movie is exactly what you would think it is. Um, it's not good. That's that's what I mean by that. Um, it is produced by John Carpenter and uh, Deborah Hill, um, who did direct, who did uh, produce and uh, John Carpenter directed the first Halloween film. He did not direct the second Halloween film, but you know he did produce it. Um, I don't think they wrote it. If I remember right in the credits, it was somebody else that wrote it. Um, which is probably the uh, reason why this is um, not good. I don't understand why you would. Uh, I don't understand why you'd go through away from the formula after of of Michael Myers and like Laurie Strode after just two films, um, because like I could understand if this was like the eighth movie and you're like, huh, we need to try something new. Let's try this bullshit. I could understand that. But to go away from it so quick, something that was working and making you money, and um, that maybe, you know, maybe the second one wasn't as good. I personally really don't like the second one, but I like the second uh, Halloween film more than I like this one. Um, but I guess trying something new can be good. It's just not here, and that's the issue. The issue is that they they tried something new and it wasn't good. If they tried something new and it was good, I would be like, hey, you know what? Great job. Um, Laurie Strode is not in this film. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's voice is in this film, but not her. Just her voice. There's no, like, physical acting from Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, but there is her voice and... Um, but I still sense that her presence is lost in this film. I don't like this film as much, I think partially because she's nowhere in it. And it's not a fun film. It's just kind of boring. This is a boring film. It stars Tom Atkins, who's the, the doctor that uh, uncovers this evil plot, um, this evil organization. And they are, you know, I guess they're evil. Like, And uh, it also stars uh, Stacey... Uh, What's her last name? Um, I don't remember her last name. Shit. Oh, well. Um, and uh, the villain is played by uh, Dan O'Hara Lee, um, who is fine. They're all fine. All three of them are fine. Uh, I think there are decisions that their characters make that are you know really dumb decisions and really just stupid to have written in there. But, I mean, it's a horror film. You expect that, right? Like, we expect characters in horror films to make really bad decisions. Um, I mean, that's what that, like, progressive commercial is about. If you're in a horror film, you make terrible decisions. Yes, you do. And uh, they did in this movie. And uh, so I don't really have a problem with that. That's not, like, a huge deal. There are certain plot points that I do have a big problem with, though. Um, basically... Uh, the entire plot. Like, I, I didn't like the writing in this film. I didn't like uh, the the uh, the plot because I've seen it so many times and I was just like, this is boring because I've seen this a billion times. I've seen this uh, so many times. Why are we rehashing this? You know, at the very least, if you were going to rehash something, just rehash Michael Myers and fucking Laurie Strode. <laughs> um... Like, if you want to try something different, then actually try something radically different. And I guess it is radically different. Um, because you're not following any of the titular characters of this franchise. You're not following any of the, um... Any of the, uh, the uh, like, plot points of this franchise. You're just, you're doing something radically different, but that's not that much different, in a way. Um... It's radically different, and I guess it is radically different in most ways, including, like, character, plot. But, like, if you're going to try something 
if you're going to try something radically different in a franchise, it has to be radically different than, like, almost anything. Like, it'd have to be, like, the last thing I would expect. And this is not the last thing I would expect if you were going to, if you were trying to change up a franchise. This is, like, a, you know, something in the middle. I would, like, I'd be going through all the things, and I'd be like, ah, here's this one, and I would, like, actually save this one eventually. Uh, because it's not, like, a complex plot. It's, it's this very normal, like, plot to have in, like, a horror film. Um, a horror film. Um, horror film. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just, I don't feel like it was different enough, um, to justify doing this. Unless this was, like, the eighth film in the franchise, and you're like, you know what? It's getting kind of played out. Let's try something different. If you want to do that, then cool at that point. Um, I think the writing in this film is, is pretty bad. And I think the the lack of uh, of uh, John Carpenter and Deborah Hill writing this film uh, really does show. Because even if I didn't like the second one, uh, I didn't have a huge problem with a lot of the plot. Um, you know, I, I like the slasher genre. And so them uh, sticking with that uh, worked for me. Um, but this movie just doesn't work for me, like, almost in the slightest. I'm giving this movie, like, a 3 out of 10. Um, it's just a really bad film. It's a, it's a really bad film for me, personally. I mean, maybe somebody who... Maybe if you don't... If you, if you are not a fan of the Halloween franchise, you might like this film. Uh, if you are not, if if you are a fan of the Halloween franchise, though, I don't think you'll like this film. Uh, maybe you do. Maybe there are some people who are fans of the Halloween franchise. They're also fans of this film, but I'm not one of them. So that's all I have to say. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter in a link in the description below. I will talk to you guys next time. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.